Hey, it's Professor Adam. Let's talk about ligands in coordination compounds. We have previously encountered coordination complexes and their geometries based on the central particle, but their ligands can also have a significant effect on their chemistry. Thus, we will have a look at the complex from the ligand's point of view. Ligands are bound to the central atom by dative covalent bonds with the metal acting as a Lewis acid accepting electrons from the Lewis base ligands. Denticity, denoted with the Greek letter kappa, represents the number of dative covalent bonds a ligand forms with a central atom. The simplest ligand is the monodentate ligand, which only forms one dative covalent bond with the central atom. Some common monodentate ligands are water, ammonia, carbonyl, nitrite, cyanide, phosphines, and pyridine, among others. Remember that we previously saw that ligands can have multiple binding sites, and if they do, they are called polydentate. Bidentate ligands form two dative covalent bonds with the central metal and are typified by 1,2-ethanediamine, which binds through two nitrogen atoms, acetyl acetonoate with two oxygen atoms, and phenanthrolene, among others. Tridentate ligands form three dative covalent bonds with the central metal and are typified by diethylene triamine, which binds through three nitrogen atoms, 1,4,7-triazacyclonanine, and 9-crown-3, among others. Tetradentate ligands form four dative covalent bonds with the central atom and are typified by triethylene tetraamine, 1,4,7,10-tetraazacyclododecane, triethylene glycol dimethyl ether, and the crown ether 12 crown 4, among others. Polydentate ligands such as ethylene diamine triacetic acid and ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid, EDTA, can form multiple bonds to the central metal, forming 5 and 6 dative covalent bonds respectively. Ambidentate ligands such as thiocyanate, nitrite, selenocyanate, and sulfite are capable of binding to the central metal via different atoms. Which atom binds to the central metal typically follows the rules of hard soft Lewis acid base theory. For example, thiocyanate binds through the S atom to soft acid metals and through the N atom to hard acid metals. Bridging ligands connect two or more atoms, usually metals. Both atomic and polyatomic bridging ligands exist. Most ligands are known to bridge except amines and ammonia. Some common examples are cyanide, carbonyl, chloride, hydroxide, and amido, among others. Bridging is denoted using the Greek letter mu with a superscript number indicating how many metal centers the ligand bridges. Some ligands, such as the cyclopentadiene anion and butadiene, can bind through multiple atoms that are beside each other. This is called hapticity, represented by the Greek letter eta. The cyclopentadiene anion is usually eta-5 because it binds using all five carbon atoms, such as in this iron complex, but eta-3 systems are known to exist. Butadiene can be either eta-2 or eta-4, depending on if only one or both of the double bonds engages in coordination. Benzene can also act as a haptic ligand, being either eta-2, eta-4, or eta-6, depending on the number of carbon atoms which are engaged in coordination. Let's check comprehension. 